we also can use composite meshes. In the last part I've shown you structured meshes, I've shown you multi zone meshes, I've shown you tetrahedral meshes and maybe yeah, one comment from my side uh, doing a good structured mesh is really like art, it's really difficult. Yeah? You have to spend a lot of time but you will get good results. Doing tetrahedral meshes is really easy. In in nearly 100% of all the cases, the computer will have an automatic meshing algorithm and the tetrahedral meshes will be generated automatically. That's rather easy. You just need some time and some computer memory and then the mesh will be created. But the quality of this TED mesh are not so good. You will get probably numerical problems afterwards. So we come back to the sentence I told you at the beginning of the lectures. Time spent in good quality or high quality meshes are always time spent well. Let's have a look at composite meshes. Composite meshes are used if you have some parts of your geometry that are round and some parts of your geometry should be structured. Why do we use such a, a, a complicated structure? Yeah, there can be one explanation. The simulation of a structured mesh is really fast and stable and maybe if you want to calculate a, a big room you will take structured mesh and then you have one small geometry that is complicated like this, this circle here you have to go into detail and then you use for example here in this case a cylindrical mesh and you copy and then you couple this cylindrical mesh with a structured mesh and you have two different mesh types and you have to copy all the values from here to here yeah we, we for example we often use this this um, complicated mesh type for example for uh, combustion coal power plants now uh, coal power coal fired power plants are really big you can model them easy with a structured mesh but if you come to the uh, air supply or to the burners you get you need to have really detailed meshes and then we couple this detailed meshes with a structured mesh here it's a, it's the same uh, you have here this exhaust gas duct, you have structured mesh and you couple it here with a non-conformer with a tetrahedral mesh. So let's, let's have a look at the multi-block meshing. Multi-block meshing, here we have one block where we can solve our differential equations. Here's the second block, third block, fourth block and the fifth block and now you ask me why should we divide the mesh in different blocks one answer can be if we want to parallelize the calculation if we want to calculate one block on one cpu on one computer and the blue block on another computer and for example the, the yellow block on a third computer if we spread it, the whole simulation on five computers, every computer can do his work. We can parallelize the simulation and get answers more, more faster, faster. Okay, that can be an uh, uh, explanation why we want to use multi-block meshes. Yeah? Here we have multi-block grids and we have here boundaries between the blocks and we can have single block meshes okay so I summarize a bit all the things I told you we can have um, triangle elements we can have quad elements can have hexaedral or tetraedral meshes. You can have hybrid mesh geometries, yeah? and 
we can have non-conformal meshes. Okay, here is also a geometry of a manifold of an engine. Yeah, and this is now a surface mesh. Okay, and there was important to get a good quality of the mesh in the wall, in the near wall region. So let's have a bit look what, how I told you if you do a, a hexaedral mesh, if you do a normal blocking, we will do it by hand. But maybe if you already have some experience with ANSYS, with a measure in ANSYS, and you use tetraedral meshes, you saw that they are often automatic, yeah? automatic meshing. How does it work? At first we have an initial mesh, more coarse mesh, yeah? you just divide everything in, in small slides, then we, we refine the mesh here at the boundaries, and then we choose several zones that we refine more and more. So, have a look at the mesh quality. Mesh quality is a really serious topic because you can generate easily. In most cases, if you use hexa meshes, the quality is really good. But if you use tetraedral meshes, the quality can be more more problematic. You can have skewness, smoothness, or bad aspect ratios. So, here we show the problem of skewness of the angles, definition, and how can we calculate the skewness? Yeah, we can just calculate the angles divided by these factors and skewness, a high skewness means really flat angles, which is difficult for the numerical solvers to solve. So. Good is always a smooth change in the cells. If you generate your mesh automatically, make sure you have a smooth change. Large steps and jumps inside the cells lead to bad numerical stability or look like this that's always a good quad yeah? this quad has a good aspect ratio yeah? the, the lengths here and the lengths here are really similar this means high aspect ratio one side is really short one side is really long this will be a bad numerical solution you, we have a look at the triangle here, the aspect ratio of 1 means good shape. If we have a high aspect ratio of the triangles, uh, really sharp angles, one side is short, another side is really long, this means bad quality and the solution can struggle. Yeah. This also good shape. This is a high ske skewness with a bad shape. Now here's maybe no skewness, really high skewness. That's a bad, bad, ge bad cell geometry. Another point is we can't have the edges, problems at the edges. And sometimes if you do the meshing, and you're not really interested in the details here at this small edge. You just cut it away, you delete this cell, and then you don't have any numerical problems anymore. Okay. Um, here's a slide, I think you can read it on your own. And this is also type of a bad quality, better quality. Okay, let's have a look at another quality aspects. 
we have let's have a look at our flow field if you calculate or simulate the um, flow field the wall and you have just a coarse mesh the resolution is not good enough to get the quality here like like in this case you want to have a better quality you have to make a finer mesh